Hello my dear students. Welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the electromagnetic waves. In that important points we are going to discuss today. Okay. So, the first topic is what is meant by electromagnetic wave? The waves propagating in space through electric and magnetic fields varying in space and time simultaneously are called electromagnetic waves. So, electromagnetic waves includes electric and magnetic waves. Both will be varying with respect to space and time. Okay. So, that is electromagnetic waves. Next is what is the origin? How it will be produced? The electromagnetic waves usually will be produced by accelerated charge or decelerated charge or from LC circuit also we will be getting this electromagnetic waves. Okay. So, the electromagnetic waves will be produced by accelerated charge or decelerated charge. If the charge uh, accelerating, that is, if the, uh, the velocity is increasing or velocity is decreasing, both the ways EM waves will be producing. The frequency of EM waves is 1 by 2 pi root LC. That one we already learned about uh, LC circuit. Next one, what are the characteristics of EM waves? The first one is electromagnetic waves travel in free space with the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second irrespective of wavelength. Whether uh, whichever the wavelength the electromagnetic waves includes many waves. So, irrespective of the, uh, of the wavelength, those waves are having different wavelengths. So, irrespective of the wavelength, these waves will be having the speed of light. All are moving with the same speed, which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. The next one is, electromagnetic waves are neutral in nature. That means, they won't be deflected by electric wave, electric field or magnetic field. Next one is EM waves shows the properties of reflection, refraction, interference, diffraction and polarization. That means all the optical phenomena that one we can observe here in EM waves. Okay. Then next is in EM wave the electric and magnetic fields are always in same phase. Okay, electric waves and magnetic waves will be in phase with each other. Well, maximum wavelength or uh, maximum uh, amplitude, minimum amplitude or in between when we are calculating also, everywhere it will be same phase. Both will be in same phase. Next one, the ratio of magnitude of electric and magnetic field vectors in free space is equal to C. That is C E by electric electric field E magnetic field B. So in free space while we are considering it is E by B that is equal to 1 by mu 0 epsilon 0 1 by root mu 0 epsilon 0. When we are substituting the values of mu 0 and epsilon 0 we will be getting that is equal to C that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, E by B equals 1 by root mu 0 epsilon 0. This is the case of free space. Okay. So, if we are considering a wave in medium, what will be the velocity or velocity of the wave? We can write it as 1 by root mu epsilon. Okay. So, if we are considering a wave in medium in meti in free space when we considered we got it as uh, e by b equals 1 by root mu 0 epsilon 0 that is equal to c but when we are considering about a material medium velocity will be equal to 1 by root mu epsilon that one when we are solving we will get it as c by n velocity equals c by n where n is the refractive index of the me medium Okay, clear? That is what happening in the case of if we are considering the wave in medium. Next one, in an EM wave, 
the energy is propagated by means of electric and magnetic field vectors in the direction of wave propagation. Okay, then next point is the electric vector of EM wave is responsible for optical effects and is also called as light wave. Okay, electric vector we will be considering it as light wave. Next is EM waves are transverse in nature. How, will, how can we explain that one? What is the meaning of transverse nature? That means electric vector, electric field vectors, magnetic field vectors and their propagation. All are perpendicular to each other. Mutually perpendicular. Which and all are mutually perpendicular? Electric wave, magnetic wave and their propagation. Everything are uh, mutually perpendicular to each other. Okay, this is the propagation of waves. This is the representation of electromagnetic wave. That is, magnetic field vector is represented by this red color and electric field is represented by this blue color and the propagation is like this. So, here this is the representation of electromagnetic wave. See, here both are in phase with each other. See, maximum wavelength, this is the wavelength. See, if I am considering two trough. This is the distance between that two. So, it is represented with a wavelength lambda. Okay, they are in phase also. Next is about the frequency and wavelength. This one you should uh, keep that in mind. What is the order of electromagnetic waves? Okay, so in the decreasing order of wavelength or increasing order of uh, frequency. Increasing order of frequency or decreasing order of wavelength. That one representation is the waves are radio waves, microwaves, infrared rays, visible rays, ultraviolet rays, X-rays and gamma rays. Okay. So, here radio wave is represented here. See, radio waves are uh, frequency is given over here. It is of less frequency and more wavelength okay usually for remembering this one i'll be using the code like ram alexa radio ram m microwave i infrared light ray instead of visible light i'll say light u ultraviolet x is x ray r is for gamma rays Okay, like that of R only, we will be representing gamma, right? So, it is Ramilexer. Ra First R A is for radio wave, Ramilexer. Okay, so that is the increasing order of frequency or decreasing order of wavelength. Clear? So, the next one is, see, in the visible light, how we will be representing the wavelength? What are the wavelength? So, these two patterns, you should keep that in mind. Many times it is asked in the board exams also, how we will be representing this. Okay, clear children? So, that's all for today. In next video, we will be coming with the rest of the portion. What are the uses of different electromagnetic waves? Okay, that also will be a slight kind of thing only will be, I will be showing. Uh, so, I think this is clear for you. Uh, so, if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.